What is up YouTube? I'm back at it again and today I wanted to talk about the Lonzo Ball family and their big baller brand. I'm currently editing another video for the channel but they recently made waves by announcing their first signature shoe and I had so many thoughts on it I had to make a quick video on it so let's get into it. If you don't know the Lonzo Ball family consists of five members. It's a father, a mother and three sons. The father has recently made headlines by being a vocal obnoxious public figure criticizing the NBA culture, the NBA history and hyping up his sons to an extreme. And the three sons are known because they all have potential to possibly enter the NBA. Lonzo Ball being the oldest has finished his freshman year at UCLA and he's going to enter the NBA draft this summer. The middle son is in his senior or junior year of high school. The youngest son is a freshman or sophomore in high school who recently made waves by scoring 90 plus points in a game. So the Big Baller brand is the family's own independent company and they recently announced their first signature shoe model which is also Lonzo Ball's first signature shoe model. It's called the Zo2 Z02. I'm not gonna lie, it looks pretty nice. Aesthetics wise, I really like the shoe. Materials wise, it seems all right. It's a startup company, so I don't know what to expect in terms of quality, but the looks of the shoe, it looks really clean. It reminds me of the Kobe 11s in a way. I just like the minimalistic design of the shoe. Props to Big Baller brand for that. But the reason they made huge waves by announcing this shoe is because the price tag for the shoe is 500 bucks. 495 for a shoe from a new company that has yet to prove himself for an athlete who has yet to prove himself. You can see why they're getting talked about. In this video, I wanted to talk about whether I believe the family is either innovating or bullshitting with their big baller brand, specifically focusing on their shoe campaign. And I think it's a little bit of both and here's why. Let's focus on the positives and the innovative factors that the big baller brand is doing with the announcement of their first shoe. Lonzo Ball with the Zo2 is actually going to be the first player to enter the NBA draft with an independently made signature shoe. It's never been done before and it opens the door for more players to be able to do this in the future. Whether he makes an impact on the NBA or not, Lonzo Ball is going to go down in history as being the first player to ever do this. And he can also thank the timing for it. I don't think it would be possible without the internet and having such a strong online presence to be able to sell and market these shoes to the public. Props to Big Baller Brand for seeing the opportunity and taking it. They're also being innovative by breaking the mold that young NBA players have to join a major corporation before starting independently. There are a bunch of NBA players who have sometimes gone their own way, followed their own path, but it's usually after they've signed a deal with Nike, Adidas, or Under Armour. They do it later on down their career path. Lonzo Ball and his family have decided to do this from the get-go. Another way where they're kind of being innovative, and it's not necessarily I agree with it or not, the family has been able to build a brand around the young ball player who has yet to prove it himself. Lonzo Ball was a huge athlete in high school and even college, even though he just played for a year. He just garnered so much popularity that the family has been able to build a brand around him and just continuously push it. Whether you believe it's a good thing or a bad thing, they have just set out to prove that it's possible. From a marketing perspective, I think that's pretty incredible. It's very rare. I don't think we've ever seen anything happen like that before. You can even thank his father for that, for being such a big cheerleader for Lonzo Ball. I don't even think LeBron has such a passionate cheerleader when he was first about to enter the NBA out of high school. And the big baller brand really wants to be seen as an innovative brand by claiming that they want to start a movement of not just empowering themselves, but their families and communities as well. I love the positive message. We'll see if it actually gets done. Props to them for that. And then lastly, I believe that the price point for the shoe is innovative because no startup company, a 19 year old ball player who has yet to enter the NBA NBA has ever 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 announced a $500 shoe as their starting point. Now whether this is good or bad, it's innovative in the sense that maybe we'll see once athletes, young athletes start to push out their own independent brands instead of joining big companies that they're going to start pricing their products at a higher price point just because Lonzo Ball and Big Baller brand set a standard because they're the first ones. They set the standard just because they're the first independent company to do it with such a young kid. And we'll see if others follow suit. So yeah, that's the positives. Those are the ways where I can see they're being innovative. Now, to the bullshit. The Big Baller brand to me is kind of corny. The name itself, they've included brand in their brand name and I think that's a little bit tacky. The logo itself, I'm not gonna lie, I'm a fan of. I don't think it's amazing or anything, but it works. It reminds me a lot of the B.O.B. logo, but besides that, I think that's as far as the positives go for the brand as in terms of uh, image. The reason where they could be bullshit, and to start it off, let's ask this question. Would the brand be following this independent entrepreneurial route if talks with Adidas, Nike, 
and Under Armour fell through between Lonzo Ball and those and those companies. That is something we can never prove for sure. But I personally don't think it would be happening. At the least, I could see them partnering up and creating some sort of collab. But I don't think Big Baller Brand would have gone and done everything on their own if talks didn't completely fall through. And I do want to point out, and I don't know if Big Baller Brand does this as a PR screen. Days before the shoe was announced, there were reports that the talks with Under Armour, Adidas, and Nike fell through. And I just think it was too much of a coincidence that these reports were being talked about. And then just in a couple of days, Big Baller Brand had a brand new shoe to unveil. From a marketing and PR perspective, I could see it that the Big Baller Brand decided to push those talks, those negative talks through just so the brand could be talked about and create some hype before they just bombed us with the shoe. If so, and it was done on purpose, smart move on the brand's part for turning something negative into a positive. But moving on, the biggest thing that's going to define whether the family and the Big Baller Brand were being innovative or bullshit shitting through their campaign is time right now we don't know what's going to happen if the brand is going to succeed or not and that brought up a lot of questions for me will the brand go back on the word about going against the grain and against companies what if the brand fails and lonzo ball ends up signing with a major corporation or what if lonzo just decides to leave the brand and sign with a big corporation in a few years that would literally make every statement that the company has made this year bullshit and just a complete lie and it'll look really bad on the family itself so that's just something that only time will tell even in the video trailer Lonzo Ball states that we basketball players push the culture and we shouldn't let the culture push us I understand what he's coming from I hope he genuinely means it but we'll see whether he actually goes through with it in the next few years another thing to point out is that LeVar Ball tweeted if you can't afford it you're not a big baller from a technical standpoint it actually makes sense it fits with the brand's recognition and brand image of big baller brand but I think it's bullshit and I think he's just tweeting that to alleviate the price point and try to make the price point seem a little bit more okay to the public it's not and then like i mentioned before they want the big baller brand to be recognized as a movement that helps endorse not just themselves but their family and, and communities as well we'll see if they genuinely mean it in the next few years once or if they start making real money and they actually start giving back to their own families and the communities so yeah that's about it right now with a 500 dollars price point for a shoe i don't agree with it it doesn't make sense even as an independent company that doesn't have the resources to mass produce a shoe model, a $500 price point is way too much. You don't need that much space for profit just to be able to gain some resources. They're not thinking about the kids. They're not thinking about the rest of the people. I've heard that they want to associate the brand on a higher tier level, but it doesn't make sense when the brand has no credibility and no credible players on the brand yet. All this depends on Lonzo Ball, to be honest. If Lonzo Ball makes huge waves when he enters the NBA in the next two to three years and he he becomes a star athlete then the big baller brands claims will come off a little bit more genuine and they can prove it but if Lonzo doesn't become the star athlete that everybody wants him to be then we'll see if the brand actually sticks to their claims and continues to follow their independent path so yeah that's about it personally I'm not gonna buy the shoe I don't think the $500 price point is worth it and especially they also announced a thousand dollar price point if you want it autographed by Lonzo Ball which again doesn't make sense because who is Lonzo Ball like he has no credibility yet and you guys want to sell a thousand dollar shoe with a signature on it that is the biggest bullshit what the brand is doing with the shoe release itself is pretty innovative but it's being overshadowed by that bullshit price point and a lot of claims that the brand is making could be bullshit but that can only be determined with time i mean we'll see from here what they do do you think you'll buy the shoe how do you feel about the big baller brand movement how do you feel about their move on this shoe yeah just let me know any thoughts you guys have down below as always if you like this video give it a thumbs up if you want tweet at me we can talk about about it and as always until next time take care yeah we're just young dumb and bro but we still got love to get while we're young dumb young young dumb and